We're within a second. It's a nice day today, isn't it? Better than the rain we've been having of late. You take a seat, have a with you in a bowl. Good morning, Mr. Braithwaite. I think you know why I'm here. I've come to collect the forms. The ones I left on my last visit. Oh, I've, uh, I've not had time to do them. I've been rushed off my feet. Business has been booming this last few weeks. I think it's safe to say we both know that isn't true, don't we, Mr. Braithwaite? Never mind. I have another copy of the forms here. Look, I know how hard this is for you. Do you? Do you know how hard it is? This business has been in my family since 1904. My granddad started it. And now you want to throw me out on the street like I'm a, a nobody. And all for the sake of a new road. Nobody is throwing you out on the streets, Mr. Braithwaite. For several times I've read out to you the Highway Act of 1980. Compensation is available to ensure that... Well, I don't you know understand this mumbo-jumbo. It's all right for you, isn't it? I bet you live in some fancy house somewhere, don't you? You young'uns, you've no idea what it means to people My like... My mother has been moved. She was one of the first to be asked to go. Like you, she was screaming and struggling to the end. But now she's living in a lovely retirement village in Middleboss. And... She loves it. They've set aside a bungalow there for you. You live above the shop, don't you, Mr. Braithwaite? How do you find climbing those stairs? Ever tempted to sleep on the sofa here? I can promise you, you'll like it there. Come on, shut up the shop and I'll take you there now to have a look. We can even visit my mother at the same time. She's always got the kettle on at this time of day. And she makes a lovely lemon drizzle cake. 